Standing next to this very lovely lady here, this is Dr. Jennifer Caudle. She's from Rowan University, um, which is in South Jersey. Um, she is a professor and a family physician. And Jen's here to talk about um, what's called super agers. You know, you meet people in life and you're like, wow, that person looks or acts literally half their age. Well, it turns out that literally there are some of us that age slower than others, and those people are referred to as super agers. I told Jen, when I first met her, we were just together at a women's conference, and I said, super agers, so it's like Benjamin Button or something, huh? Like, <laughs> they get old too fast, and they're like, actually, it's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So it can you be physically a super ager and or mentally a super ager? Are we talking about the mind and the body? Right, so people can be both, actually, and they can be one or the other as well. So the term super agers, and I think this is fascinating, uh, just, it's amazing. The term super agers refers to people who are in their 70s or 80s who really have the mental or physical capacity of someone that's much, much younger. Um, right. it, normally, as we get older, our brains kind of shrink in size, but for super agers, they actually retain the brain volume that they have. Wow. Um, on MRI scans, we actually see that they retain key parts of their brain being like really thick versus people who are not super agers it's much thinner so like for example we have a graphic up and if you look at the the image on the left that's a brain mri the very dark area that kind of looks like a bullet that area is a uh, the memory center well that's a lot thicker um, than on the right the picture on the left is for a super ager the one on the right is not a super ager um, so we really see actually different, i think it's really fascinating and researchers don't know exactly why this is happening but a lot of times we think especially in those mental super agers that a lot of people are are really those people are embracing mental challenges and um, you know, problem solving and things like that, which is one of the reasons why we recommend like games and puzzles and math and stuff. But to your point, just like the cognitive superagers, we have like the physical superagers. This is a graph, interestingly enough, of generally as we get older, we know that our aerobic capacity sort of dwindles. And that's what the chart shows. As we get older, our, our VO2 max, which is our Your abilities. Capacity, yes, right. our abilities gets lower. And the VO2 max is the ability to give oxygen to the tissues within one minute. That's how we measure it. Gotcha. But super agers, totally different. They break all these rules. They break the rules and they're able to maintain this and actually succeed and exceed in this area. So uh, this is very interesting. She took two different images of people that are super agers out into the street and just asked random strangers, how old do you think this person is? Right. I haven't seen these tapes. Let, uh, let's take a look at the first one. So are you ready to play? I'm ready. Okay, take a look at our first young lady. How old do you think she is? 38. 39, maybe late 40s? 48. My name is Ella Nektor, and I am 65 years old. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding. Wow. Amazing stuff. That is amazing. Right? My anti-aging secret is exercise. I did not start working out until I was 40 years old. I went to a club with my sis and I had nothing but butt and gut after someone took a picture of me. And boy, I was wondering, how come no one told me I was getting fat? <laughs> so after looking at that picture, I had to change my lifestyle. I was so upset, so I just started working out. And I got rid of all that fat and gained muscle tone within nine months. I was told back then that you had to do three things to make this successful. You had to lift weight, you had to eat healthy, and you had to do some type of cardio. And those three things also apply to anti-aging. I am currently training for a half marathon. These days, I train about three hours a day. Also, I do HIIT training. It's high interval intensity training. 20 seconds of hard exercising, and then you're doing a 10 second break. Women don't have to live heavy. I don't live heavy at all. I use a lot of resistant bands, a lot of cords, a lot of body work. My secret is I do eat healthy. I eat a lot of grains, fruits, vegetables, and plenty of water. I keep my skin by using nothing but petroleum jelly, Vaseline. It's only 99 cents. I just put my hands in it and just slam it on my face and go right to sleep. So women over 40, remember, it is never too late to start because who doesn't want to be cougar fit? Unreal. This is Ellen Eckler. 
And Ellen, I have to say, I didn't wear a swimsuit that small when I worked <laughs> at Club Med like almost 40 <laughs> years ago. You know what I mean? Um, but you're saying for you, this is a seven days a week lifestyle. Yes, yes You it never is. take a day off from these. No. No. Is there any danger to that? I mean, you're a doctor. Well, yeah. Well, so I think, Ellen, first of all, God bless you. Oh, Ooh, God, God bless you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, the, the exercise is amazing. Mm -hmm. And as a doctor, that's what I want people to, to do is exercise improves cardiovascular health. It that's decreases true. the risk and factors brain, your brain for function. diabetes and heart disease. And it, it reduces risk factors for dementia. But we also know that exercise can maybe improve mitochondrial activity, which might help with anti-aging as well. You know, I always say check with your doctor first, because to your point, not everyone not should everybody's be in capable TV. of seven right. days right. of... And, and right. to, the, to the level that you're able to do it. So I want you to check with your doctor, I always say. But I tell people, even if they can't do what you can do, which I can't do what you can do, but, oh. um, but it's important to start small and be consistent. And to try new exercises, because that's what helps work our brain. Yeah, so everyone well. right. tells you to always mix up your workouts. Yeah, change but you do say it's very important to you, Ellen, to take some mindful rest every day, yes. correct? Yes, yes. I meditate mostly every day. And on Sundays, I'm doing yoga. And I'm also doing meditation class. Wow. And so then I do really a lot of Sunday swimming. Your day of rest it's right. just active in that it includes yoga yes because you rest you rust huh? if you rest <laughs> you, you rust, rust. <laughs> you rust <laughs> um so ellen's going to show us a couple of yeah. her signature and i want you two guys oh i better you want to stay okay, okay. All right, I'm yeah ready. i'm ready okay <laughs> no more tea okay Look okay. at these sneakers. You see oh she's gosh, got fur so trim cute. kicks. <laughs> that is crazy. So cute. All right. Okay. Go for it. What's, okay. what's one of your key moves? Our first one, we're going to do squats. Now, a lot of women can't squat because they complain of knee and their knees will get injured. But I'm going to show you how to do a squat in a chair. Everyone has a chair at home, right? So well, come on hopefully. over here. Come on over here, Rachel. You go ahead, right, doctor. I'll come do it on this side. Okay. 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 Come on. Only one to be chair. in the chair. Okay. okay. Oh, we just have to go next to the chair. Next Get in front of the chair, right oh. from the chair. You want to do it? You get in front, okay. okay. I'll stand next to you. Okay. okay. This is a trio, guys. Okay. So we're going to have our hands out. Make sure your body is straight. Your shoulders are, have to be straight. And you're going to focus on something in front of you. I do not want you to look down, ladies. Okay. We're going to come back in the hips nice and slow. Nice and slow. Come back up. Ooh. Squeeze that tush. This oh, I got a lot, lot of time. time. Please, lady. But you know, tushes are in style now. Do so we go back yeah, down. Well, it doesn't matter whether it's coming hey, or going I'm in style. Uh, Mine's still there. Oh, okay, guys, that's our lunch. That's good. Okay. okay, now Ooh. that's our squat. I'm sorry. Squat. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll get on the second chair right. on that side. Now what? Okay. Okay. These are all functional training exercises. These are things that you do in everyday life, like picking up your baby, even picking up your purse. I have a purse right here oh, to yeah. let you guys. Rachel? It's not a Gucci. It ain't my purse. It's not a Gucci, but you can use it. I don't it. got no Gucci here. I got, <laughs> all right, what do you want me to do with this? this okay, one, this I want you to mine. put it on your, okay, hold put it on your shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, put it on your shoulder. The shoulder is good. Okay. And you're gonna, again, look straight. Make sure your shoulders are straight. Stand up nice and tall. Let those twins kind of feel good. <laughs> yeah. Let's bring, that, let's bring that right leg forward, and we're going to bend that knee to a 90-degree angle. Just okay. come down and bend it and come up. Squeeze those buns. One more time. Left leg. Come up. Squeeze it's so those weird to talk about buns. my twins and boots. <laughs> All right, last one. We got to move. Our last one. We got to do another functional exercise. This helps with the brain because it makes you think. You're using both your body parts. You're using your legs and your arms. You're going to do jumping Here, jacks. Here, Joey. Throw that purse. <laughs> okay. Okay, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna cross. Let's get some Whoa. cardio in here. Let's go. One, okay, check two, out Mimi. Watch three, this. Four. <laughs> How old do you think she is? 62. 62? 58. 68. My name is Mimi Kirk. I live in San Diego and I'm 79. I was oh. gonna say she looks 40. No. God bless her. Right? That's great. Doesn't she look amazing? Yeah, yeah. I became a vegetarian when I was 30 and a vegan shortly after that. It wasn't until much later that I discovered raw food. What happened is I went to my doctor and he told me that my blood pressure and cholesterol was high and he handed me a prescription. And all I could think about is my whole family is on medication. So I started
started searching around and reading and looking up studies and a raw food diet kept coming up. And I thought, oh my goodness, carrot sticks and celery. And then I discovered some recipes online. And then I started making my own recipes. Eating a lot of greens and fruits and vegetables really help that. So I, I'm gonna make you a green juice. We're gonna have um, some of the greens, which are kale. There's spinach, long cucumber, celery, and apples. Then I'm going to put in a little ginger and maybe a little piece of lemon, and that makes a beautiful drink. Taking a little extra minute to juice really doesn't mean anything if you're getting all these nutrients. And I feel so good when I drink this in the morning. It's a beautiful glass of juice. I wish you could taste this. It's so delicious. <laughs> Mimi wants some taste vision, right? Hey, Mimi. Hi. You look beautiful, obviously. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to walk us through a couple more of your tips yes. here for Dr. Jen? I am, because most people think you can't have desserts or chocolate or anything if you're on a raw food diet. There's a lot of urban myth about raw foods, but I really feel I'm a great example of healthy living and eating delicious food. So I'm gonna make a dessert because everybody loves dessert. And um, I'm gonna start out, this is little truffle balls and they're made with very healthy ingredients. There's cacao powder, which is different than chocolate. It's an unsweetened chocolate. And, it's, and I use it for a lot of things. So first of all, the walnuts in here are very good for the brain. As you can see, they kind of oh, look like a brain. Here. Yeah, put so we're gonna put in. the walnuts in and I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna just whiz those for just a minute, just so. Um, we can get them a little started. Zap, zap, zap. That's it. A little bit more. And then we're going to throw in something that's going to hold it together real okay. well, which are the dates, which are good. I, I hope love the dates. are out of these. Well, we'll <laughs> find might, out soon well, enough. Gotta make we? sure the pits aren't in here. And then my favorite thing, which is the cacao powder over here, which is so good for you. It's very high in antioxidant and it's very healthy. So why not have a little cacao powder that's gonna make you feel good? And then one of my favorite things to use is coconut oil. I, I put it on my hair, my skin, everything. I love coconut oil. It's like oil. my mom with olive oil. Oh right yeah. To it's a, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. And I even do a mouth rinsing with it in, oh, in wow. the daytime. It's, a, it's called oil pulling. Huh. Very good for your gums. So I love the coconut oil. I use it in a lot of my chocolate recipes. Then we have coconut here, which is really good. This coconut is really healthy for you. I'm gonna put some of that in, it makes this taste really good. It's and kinda got the vibe of an almond joy going on in here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then we have a little bit of uh, vanilla, which is always good in chocolate. And then we have some almond butter, and this is it. And this is all healthy, and a little more protein. You can eat this dessert you can keep it in the refrigerator or freezer and just pop it when you need it. So Lovely. it should be good. Now we're going to just zap it, right. it all up. Uh -huh. Here we go. Make sure we get to all of them here then yeah. you just roll them with a scoop yes. right you scoop it and then this is what they come out we're going to scoop them they're going to look like this adorable yeah. Yeah. they're beautiful and the finished product gorgeous mm. So, so, Jen, have you tried different diets in your life? Have you gone vegan and vegetarian and all that? Have so you tried those different I, things? I have to say, I actually haven't tried different diets, but I do support them for many of my patients. You know, right. I know that many people want to try raw. I know you do raw foods. Some people are vegan, vegetarian. And I support all that. I think what's really most important is, is what you're doing, Mimi, which is you're getting the proper nutrients in your diet. That's the key. And it's she's not key. doing it with supplements, and there's no processed foods in her life. That, you know, that's and right. that's right. We, we don't see raw, you know, uh, red meats here. Mm -hmm. We don't see processed meats so you've got a lot of room for these healthy nutrients that's what helps our brain which I really really love I want to make sure we don't run out of time this is an example of the smoothie that we saw yes yes this is a smoothie um want to try um, one Doc? I, I actually do. juice this might be a smoothie but I juiced it all uh, and what juice, I wanted right? to show you is I do take vitamin D and vitamin B because I, I'm you have my blood check to make sure that I'm up on everything, and these are two things I happen to need. So you so, supplement a raw vegan diet with yes, these? Yes, with these. And, and you, my, you know, my mom takes an enormous amount of, of D because um, of her bone density issues. Uh -huh. She's yeah. 84, my mom. Ah. Like osteoporosis. You know, I was right. actually gonna make a point about that is that some of us actually do need to supplement our diets with, with vitamins and minerals. For most people, I say you can actually get it from your diet, but many of us you will can. need to supplement. That's and there point. do come sometimes in liquid forms or powder or even pill forms. So that's where it's a really good chance to, to talk with with your doctor to see what exactly you need or don't need. Thank you, Nina. Thank you so much to Dr. Jen and our lovely super agers, <laughs> Ellen and Mimi. Um, up next, we're gonna switch gears. We're gonna talk about the royal wedding and getting some of those looks uh, that Meghan Markle would love to rock. We're gonna do that right after this. <laughs> 